So then, in the last lesson, we saw how we could send data from our route handler over here into the view. Then we could output that data inside the view using curly braces like this. Now, this is an example of blade syntax. Now, remember, I said that blade is a template engine, and that makes it easier to work with data and logic inside a view than regular PHP does. For example, this right here, this way of outputting variables is much easier than using PHP tags, then an echo statement, and then the HTML special chars function to surround each value. This way does all that, but it's much easier to write. And that's what Blade is all about. It's all about making things a little bit easier for us. So we can use Blade in all of our views. And then what happens is that the Blade template is then compiled into regular HTML, by Laravel behind the scenes, and then a resulting web page is sent to the browser so a user can see it. Now, there's no requirement to use Blade in your Laravel project. You don't have to. You can use regular PHP files if you want instead, but Blade does make things much, much easier for us. So then, apart from outputting variables like this using curly braces, what else can we do with Blade? Well, there's loads and loads of different things we can do. I'm gonna show you some of the more common things in this video, and we're gonna start with a simple if statement. So the way we do this in Blade is by using an at sign first of all, and then if. So you'll see this at symbol in front of most directives in Blade, and it just basically means we're using Blade to do something. Now inside the if statement, I'm gonna evaluate some kind of condition, and what I'm gonna do is evaluate this variable which we have access to, price, because that comes from this route handler. So inside the if statement, I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to see if this is over 15. And then if that is the case, I'm going to indent and output a paragraph that says this pizza is expensive. And then at the end, I need to use at end if to close the if statement. So then this means that this paragraph tag is only going to be output in the HTML template if this condition right here is true. So the price at the minute that we send through is 10. That is not over 15, therefore it's not true. Therefore we shouldn't see this in the browser. So if I refresh, let's just test that and we don't see anything. Okay, so now if I change this over here to 16 and save it, if we refresh now, we should see it because that is over 15. Cool, all right then. So what if we want to do something else? What if we want to check a different condition if this is not true? Well, we can use an else if. So I can come to the next line and say at else if and evaluate another condition. So this time I'll say if price is less than five, then I'll output a different paragraph and it's going to say this pizza is cheap and save that. So if now I refresh, we shouldn't see that only this one because currently the price is 16. Let me now change it to three and save that and refresh. And now we see the pizza is cheap. So that's pretty good. We have an if check. If this is true, it outputs this. If it's not true, then it evaluates the else if statement. And if that is true, it outputs this. If none of these are true, it shouldn't output any of them. So let's change this back to 10. Then none of them should be true. Refresh and nothing appears, cool. All right, so let me just add one more thing onto this. It's gonna be an else, which is a catch-all. So we don't need another uh, evaluation of a condition right here after it. This is just gonna fire whatever is inside the else if these two are not true. So let me now do another paragraph tag and I'll say this pizza is normally priced. Okay, so we have a price of 10 and it's not greater than 15, therefore it doesn't output this. It's not less than five, so it doesn't output this. So we just go to the catch all, the else, and we output this instead. So if I save it and refresh, and we can see the pizza is normally priced. So that's pretty cool, right? Pretty easy to do some if and else if checks using Blade. All right, so what next? I wanna show you something that's pretty similar, and that is unless. And this is kind of like the opposite to if. So let me write this out first of all, then we're gonna explain it. So I'll say unless base, which is another variable we have access to. So unless base is equal to cheesy crust, 
then we're going to output a paragraph tag and it will say you don't have a cheesy crust okay and then at the end we need to end unless so it's saying unless this is true i want you to output this so it outputs this if this is false so it's the opposite really of the if check if it is cheesy crust it won't output this if it's not cheesy crust it will output this so let me save it and refresh and we don't see it because we do have a cheesy crust if i change that back to something like garlic mm, save then we can see you don't have a cheesy crust okay then so there's two different things we can do um, i'm going to show you one more and this is going to be the php directive so if we want to output some regular php we can do we can just do it inside a php directive in blade and at the end we just say end php like so so inside we can just output now some regular vanilla php why would we want to do this though well blade although it has a lot of different things we can do and a lot of different directives we can use php is bigger it has more things it can do and you might need a little bit more granular control so if that is ever the case you can just open up this php directive and input some vanilla php inside so i could say now i'm going to create a new variable called name and set that equal to sean and then below that i'm going to echo this out to the screen so i'll say echo and then we want to echo out the name so if i save this now and refresh over here then we can see sean all right then so that's the basics of blade and blade directives hopefully now you can see how this is really going to help us in the future because it's really simple to do these kind of checks and a bit of logic and by the way if we go to the welcome view all this at the top this now should look a little more familiar it's just an if check right here we have an if check down here an else statement we also have this auth directive which will become clear when we work with authentication later on but we are going to be using blade quite a lot as we go through this series and in the next video we're going to carry on with this and take a look at loops in blade to output lists of data.